One, two, three, click. Hello everybody, this is uh, Jazz Crab, and uh, we're going to do a video about the stick figure here, Mr. Sticks. And we're going to give him some stretchy legs. So I got one done here. Works out. So what we wanted to do is, not only does it stretch out this way, but we want it to shrink side to side so that the, we keep the weight, pretty much. Keep the, well not the weight, the, uh, the volume of the leg as it's going around, so it doesn't look weird. Alright, so right now we're going to start off by taking off the geometry, so hiding it. So we have this stuff here. Okay, so this leg doesn't work right now, so we're going to work on this leg here, see? So okay, so the first thing we want to do is open the outliner. We need two groups, so control G for one, click, control G. So that is two groups there. Now, I'm not going to use proper naming just to save time. So this will be called the base. Remember, to, it's important to keep naming conventions, but for this video, no, it's not. So tip. So we got the base here. We have the tip. Now the base is going to go up here. So I'm going to click this joint and then control click the base. Constraint point. Make sure the offset is off. So constraint point. So now it's up here. And then for this one, we don't want it on the joint, we want it on the IK handle. So zoom in. If you're lucky like me, you'll be able to hit it first time. Oh yeah. And then control click the tip. Tip group. And then constraint. Or you could just press G, but point. And that'll bring it up there. So we got that. So now we're going to keep this up in window. General editor. Nope. No, uh, where is it? Note editor. That's it. Okay, so we're gonna try and shrink this down a bit. All right. Come on. Yeah. There we go. Shrink it down so we can see everything. It's hardest thing about YouTube videos is making all this fit the screen so that you guys can see it. Anyway, so what we want to do first is create a distance between node or distance node so that's this double click that node and now we in another window in here window general editors connection editor okay so we're gonna do some connecting so click this one reload right so this is all the inputs for it and then click the base node reload reload left so the outputs of base node so now we're going to find the translate, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, T, okay, T, translate now, just click it, and then go to the point of distance between, see now there's slant, the type slanted, we just connected, so now we'll go to the tip, reload, there, reload right, translate, point two, so we got point one, point two, if you double click distance node, you'll see there's stuff in here, so that's good, thumbs up, okay, so we don't need this anymore. Let's put that back together. So lay, so we might as well take these now. We need this joint and this joint here. So we'll shift select this, these two joints here. And then press this nice little button here. And then we got the two joints we're going to be stretching and squashing and doing all the fun stuff with. So we'll move them out of the way for now. Actually, now we'll leave. Okay, so we got the distance between node. So now we need... So tab, condition node, if I could spell, okay, condition node, so double click it. So the first thing we want to do is expand them, and now we want to take the distance and put it in second term, and we also want to take the distance, put it in the color if false R, so the first, so it's here and here, and now what we want to do is take, so right now this is the number of this distance to this distance, now we need the, that's like the minimum I guess, now we need the maximum, so we need to pull this down and until the knee straightens itself out just, just as it does it, I'll try not to go a little bit over. Okay, now this number is different, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number, which we'll see, we're going to paste it here in the first term, and here in color if true. So there was that. Now we're going to put this back. Very important to put this back to zero. Super important. OK, 
Okay, so that's good. Now, we have that, so now we take this, make sure this is all right. Oops, okay. Yeah, and then operation greater or equal to. So, if the first term is greater or equal to, the, or no, if the second term is greater than, whatever. This will work, it's fine. So we take all that there, and now we make tab multiply divide. Take that. Now, this will be for the stretch. This will make it stretch, and we need another one. So control click it, and then control D. And this is another one. This will make it squash, So just so it's not weird. Stretch. Squash. I love squash. Yummy. Okay, so get that in there, and then um, first of all, the out color R goes to input X, one X. Okay, now we go over here, and what we want is we want this number here, the same number. Okay, we'll double check. Seven five eight nine. Okay. Color R, alright. Check something here. Yep, so add color R, okay. So now we want to take this number, which is the outstretch number. Yep, we want to take this number. Oh. This number, control C, control V it there, okay. And this should cause it, the other ones to stretch here, so now what I want to do is take this. So again, multiply, I oh know, sorry, divide. I want to divide it by this maximum number here. So this is the same number here. And then copy paste it there. And then take, well, first of all, I guess we got to find out which part is pointing down. So make sure this, make sure you know which axis is pointing down. So in this one, it's the X. We're not putting down, putting towards the next joint. So on this one, it's the X, uh, the red rod, so it's the X rod. Okay, so now we take scale. Open up both scales. Okay. And then output. Output X to scale X. Output X to scale X. Okay, let's see how that works for now. Okay. There you go. We're just all stretchy right now. So that's what we wanted, exactly what we wanted. It's just we stretching, we're we're smart and stuff. Right now, we're not done yet. So the second part of this the second part of this is taking this squash node, the other multiply divide, sorry one second. Yeah. 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 Okay, move that over there. So next we want to take this squash node and double click it so you get the properties of it, so double check. And then take multiply, turn to power, and then take this, negative 0.5. Very important. So this is going to make the squash, or the squash and stretch look more realistic. So we take input x, put into, sorry, put into input 1x. So output x to input 1x. And then what we want to do with that is take output x and put it into the other scales for each joint. So this is the hip joint, so output y and z, and then again y and z, and we'll see how that looks. So just in case something happens, you can always highlight everything. It's a bookmark thing here. We'll just call it right leg stretch, y'all, bam, and we'll keep that for later so we can, like, you know, if we need to find it, we can just go to the other bookmark button, stretch y'all, bam, and it's there, so that's always a good thing. So now let's check it out, let's see what happened here. Alright, so, drum roll, Brrr, oh my god, drum roll, and stretch, it squashes and stretches, you can see. It loses mass as it, or it keeps its mass as it goes down. So yeah, that's uh, that's a squash and stretch. Woohoo! 
You do not know, you do not want to know how many takes of this video that I did, but we're done. Let's do a little dance here. No, wait. Oh, I don't have the got over. So there, there it is. There's how you do a scotch and stretch thing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And yeah, thanks a lot. Oh, and do not, do not scale your stuff because it's bad for your, yeah. Goodbye.